sleep is probably one of like the single most important thing that we can be doing. Um, and it's actually the thing that we tend to ignore the most. Uh, so sleep has been shown to be critical um, to supporting our immune function, uh, to supporting brain development and cognitive function, so our ability to think and process information, interact with others, uh, how we process food, um, how we react to things, like all of these critical things that are so important to us, uh, sleep plays a critical role in making sure that we're at our optimal uh, self. But then uh, what happens is that we live in this culture that we are exposed to so many things that prevent us from sleeping or that we kind of try to muscle through it and think like, oh, I don't need to sleep. I'm fine without it. Uh, and that's really the worst thing that you could be doing. So it's important for us to really understand why it's important so that we actually do it. So it's in incredibly important to not only understand sleep generally, but also how it's impacting uh, different age groups. And this is because we have different uh, requirements for sleep depending on how old we are. So kids tend to need a lot of uh, sleep, so they are the ones who experience the most amount of sleep. Then once you get into your teenage years, this is also a period that not only do you need a lot of sleep, but actually your sleep schedule is different from everybody else. So you uh, tend to, uh, teenagers tend to be something called phase delayed. So what this means is that they, uh, their schedule, their uh, circadian clock is shifted a little bit. So it's much harder for them to wake up earlier in the morning. This isn't that teenagers are lazy. This is just biologically what happens. And so for them, once you start to figure out the impact of light and you know school start times and how that can impact performance. So for them, they have specific uh, needs that we need to be investigating. Then when we get to the other side, so once you're past the age of 65, your uh, sleep tends to go down. So not only are you sleeping less, but also your sleep quality tends to go down. So it's a, a little bit more fragmented. You're not getting as much of that deep restorative sleep. And this can have impacts on cognitive performance as well as physical health. Uh, so really understanding the impact of sleep and how to target appropriate interventions across the lifespan is incredibly important. So sleep can uh, affect you at work uh, in, in your performance. So if you're sleep deprived, you're not going to be at your best. And so this is obviously going to impact, uh, how you're working. So, um, your ability to make decisions if, um, if you have to solve problems at work, uh, even things just like typing, you're more like, if you're not getting enough sleep, you're going to make more typos. Uh, so these are all things that with respect to your specific performance, um, but also sleep, uh, is going to impact how you're interacting with your coworkers. So um, if you aren't getting enough sleep, then again, uh, you're more likely to uh, have trouble, or you're more likely to have more negative thoughts towards your coworkers, be a little bit more paranoid, not as interact with them as well. Um, so that's an, so, so not only is sleep impacting your own personal performance at work, but also your interpersonal relationships at work. Mm -hmm.